When you pull that out, yeah. I'm thinking this guy's coming at me with a lighter. Or like you said, a magic wand. Seriously, it doesn't, it's not scary. You see that thing, it's got the cable on, it's got that little pointy thing at the bottom. That to me looks like you just randomly grabbed some kind of something laying around and was like, all right, I'm gonna hit you with this lighter. It doesn't look like a weapon. Get over here. <laughs> Take it easy. In this video, we're gonna be comparing, here. I get the bigger one. In this video, we're gonna For be comparing. your life. <laughs> Right out the gate, your thoughts. I want this one. Yeah. <laughs> this, it just, it looks like it's constructed better, it's heavier, I mean, the cable's way yeah. thicker, it's longer, I mean. Yeah, the guy, that's what's funny is they're, they're marketing, and that, that guy in the comment section that's totally, totally not a Fast Strike employee, Yeah. that happens to be, be commenting exactly their copy from their marketing, but he's <laughs> totally not a Fast Strike employee. Nah. Um, Talks about how this is a cheaply made clone of this. First yeah. of all, this thing That's is the total opposite. Overbuilt, and second of all, I don't even think it's fair to call it a clone or to re really even compare no. them. They're completely different. I think they are completely different weapons. Mm -hmm. They Very clearly they seem similar in that they're both flexible, but they are completely different weapons that serve a completely different purpose. You guys have seen our videos on the Stinger Tactical Whip. I my analog for this is the baton. I think this is like a uh, similar in use tactics and strategy that you would use a baton or you know a, a stick if you were into Filipino martial arts. This one here operates more like a knife because it okay. it doesn't. You just see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's fair. From swinging it, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. In my mind, I think of this as a cutting tool, not an Slash. impact tool, mm -hmm. because it doesn't have any weight to it. This thing weighs nothing. Yep. Um, it even, the handle is even takes cues from the pocket knife. It feels more awkward to me. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely like faster. faster yeah. Someone's gotta get real close to you. Oh, there goes the I think this one like a knife, like think you're trying to make cuts, right, and like nick him. Yeah, so you don't overcommit, because it's so lightweight. Yeah. Ooh. That one caught right at the end. Oh. <laughs> Those ones right there would cut a motherfucker open. Oh, yeah. Ooh, he's got him dialed in now. <laughs> the metal tip on here will cut. We were wailing on each other pretty hard and I was never convinced that this would cut. No. I think this would cut really easily. Yeah, I agree. We're not gonna test that. Maybe Wanna one, wanna try one? When we get to like a million subscribers. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll, we'll I'll take scars for a million. I'll yeah, when we got a million <laughs> subscribers, we'll, it's just gonna get really, really weird in here. Yeah. I think because that one's not as heavy. That's I don't think you're gonna feel it as much. I think that the clothing will impact it more than the stinger because the stinger had more heft to it. That's yeah. my hypothesis. So, Jay, where's my. Where's your where, head? Yeah, Yank it down. Where's my head? These guys. Right, right there. I took it in the back in the hoodie with the stinger and it didn't help at all. Right. So I'll do the same thing. He said, hoodie one. didn't help. Yeah, hoodie did not help. Well, how, how hard are you? What are they? You were doing like 20s, like light ones. I just, I don't need to take a, I don't need to get hammered by it. I just need to give my opinion of the difference. Okay. You know, so we don't, we're not trying to prove anything here. <laughs> All right. Just do just your. Think about that workout you just gave me. <laughs> I'm ready. Let's go. All right, but do you want it like this, like that? No, no, like. Um, yeah, but you want. Yeah, like that. So okay. it's just like the stinger, so I can. Okay. Yeah. 20 though? Yeah, 20%. All right. Oh, I think like 20 okay. Yep. <laughs> oh! oh! <laughs> I can feel that on your skin. Oh! Hey, I feel that. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I, I felt that too. Oh, God. <laughs> the hoodie does not help! One thing that this does infinitely better is concealability. Mm -hmm. Put it in your belt loop if you're wearing. If you're that wearing one. Jeans. That's how they. That's how they marketed this. You can. You know. You put it through yeah, the belt loop. Same thing with this one. Sorta. Uh, the problem is, one of the selling points of this is this, but this is also part of the problem for concealment. Even if I did, even if you put it down your pants, because you could put this one down your pants too. Excuse me. <laughs> Pardon me, fellas. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my! How embarrassing. Play swords. <laughs> yeah. But if you had any kind of love handles, this would be. No, I can feel it poking into me now. So if I sat down in this one, yep, ouch. You see my little hairy belly? All right. If I sit down, this goes 
Oh. Yeah. Ouch. I guess you get the plant. You get the plant so when you're carrying a maybe, so if, if I put jeans, it in the you back, can your, you can put that in your jeans. If I put it in the back and yeah. sit down. Oh god. That's not as bad, right? But it's gonna work. Well, and they'll be sticking out of your shirt though too. People would see. Like, what is that weird that's thing? That's weird. Out of your yeah. Shirt? If you like pull it up, pull, sit down with that with your shirt pulled over. Oh see. well, I, it runs into the same problems that concealing. Yeah. Any. Gun. Yeah, concealing any kind of weapon. Just, I feel hmm. a, a good bit more confident with this as a weapon. You know, we already discussed. I actually like at one point thought I was gonna have to use it, and felt like, yeah, this is a good weapon. Yeah. This, I think, is. It's very close quarters. I mean, hitting out here, that's about how much striking surface you need for this to be effective. Mm -hmm. you, but you can, if they get too close and you hit them, this does have some impact. And hit if me. I mess up, it still flaps and hit his back. Yep. Yeah, if I mess up, this and still that still hurts. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, that hurts. Yeah. This one, no dice, right? You don't get any of that. You get a little bit of sting. A little tiny. Yeah. Bit of sting. People were asked about the this one coming back on you. Like as I'm swinging it, if I'm hitting myself with it, that's it's gonna pale in comparison to what I'm. If I'm swinging it that hard, to what I'm doing to my target. And just like you said in the other videos, you're supposed to practice with it. You yeah, know, you just, practice don't with just it. Leave it sitting around, pull it out one day. And... That's the whole moral of the story with self defense equipment. Yeah. As a weapon, I differentiate between weapon and self-defense tool. It makes people nuts. <laughs> Comment below if you know the difference between a self-defense tool and a weapon. As a weapon, if I want to do damage to a person, this possesses both the whipping quality, has the impact, the heft of this cable, and then if we talk about the handle. What's the price difference? Uh, that one's maybe like... Uh, like 26 bucks mm -hmm. and this is like 40 bucks they're not expensive enough a thing that that's a that's a, yes but how much effectiveness are you willing to give up for concealability this one took the most off the stinger yeah okay. right. just Sorry. go a little lower all right ready mm. Mm. yeah it got in there yeah <laughs> didn't feel like it did <laughs> it got in there yeah <laughs> now let's i want to try something because i noticed with this one yeah the, the output from the stinger it was inconsistent. Like sometimes I felt like almost nothing and then sometimes it hurt just the same. And I think it has to do with like how at that moment, how it's laying. So right here with the tip and it's like, it's not touching my body at the time that you hit it. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Go harder. Well, I'm not trying to hit you though, right? Same pop, same pop. Like try to get, try to, try to hit, try to penetrate, try to get through it. Yeah, so get the, I'm not gonna move, get the stinger. The same output and the same spot. Like the jacket's not like touching me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I want people want to know, you know, um, come this way a little bit and get a little closer. Mm. Mm -mm. Yeah. Try again. Oh God, you got my hip. No. So the jacket, if it's not like t when it's tight up against my body, if you hit, don't go super hard, but if you hit like that, oh <laughs> yeah. Give me the stinger. Same spot. Not the exact same spot, but yeah. Yeah. Who was like, that? It if this fails, I'm left with a little plastic handle. You're already on me, mm -hmm. that guy's on me. I'm left with this little plastic handle. And yes, you can maybe hammer strike and yada, we've done videos but on how to do that. I'm trying to block that anyway. Yeah. If I'm in a non-lethal scenario with this and it's ineffective and now you're grabbing a hold of me, you're much larger, much stronger. I'm in an infirm state. Now we are talking about a deadly force yeah. scenario. And this is capable of that. Mm -hmm. You are left with a deadly weapon. Yep. Like, you, and you if, any, if you have any, if you guys it. have any question about that, look real close at that. That's a glass breaker handle. We covered it in our review of this thing. It's sharp as shit. Yeah, <laughs> and this is a, with it, it's going into this that. is a heavy, serious metal piece of hardware. I'm reluctant to say Kubaton. Everyone loves that word. Fucking hate Kubatons. <laughs> but, uh, you're left with uh, a contingency when when this fails the jacket it's super inconsistent like if it's just if it's not exactly right so let's do the arm stinger oh wait no we've done the stinger I know what the stinger does the, the yeah fast strike 20 ish yeah something like that mm, mm. Yeah. Uh, stinger a little higher up stinger yeah Yeah, the, so the, the, the fast strike bites, yeah. and, but the stinger has that weight to it. Yeah. 
Yeah, because well, you feel this in like a little small yeah. little spot, right? Yeah. When you got when you get when you get this close to a joint, that hurts. That hurts a lot. When this get, as this gets closer to a joint, it feels very similar to a baton strike. This it's only more, has that. I think like it's an annoyance more. Than pe that. that penetrating. Yeah. But a large part of that is psychological, you know. This well, look, with him, he just yeah, he took he's, one. He's like, no, nah, do it. Yeah, yeah, he's made so a difference. He's, he's made a he's difference. Like, oh, I mean, he's just a he's just a more of a man than we are, I guess. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I might be looking at this wrong. I said they were two different weapons. So they serve two different. They should serve two different purposes. <laughs> if we call this the jab instead of the right hook, and we use this at range faster, because it, it it does do follow up shots way quicker than the other one. But I still had the right hand cocked, assuming I still had a right hand, yep. and I could throw it or use it to fend him off in a like a tussling or grappling or wrestling situation. I don't know, man. Dude. What, together? <laughs> We've really been thinking about it all wrong. This was meant for your dominant hand. This one's meant for your lead hand. <laughs> I feel like a light bulb just went off in your head. You're just like, oh, dude. dude. <laughs> Come on, don't do that with the arm, dude. Shut up. Yeah, all right. Do what I want. Yeah. This is how it was meant to be done. We've got the jab. And we've got the right hook. Boom! Like my man Gary V says, jab, 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 right hook. This is so awkward. <laughs> That's the ticket, man. Be holding doulos. Keep that back foot down. You know better than that. There you go. Bip, 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 bang. Dude, that was a combo right there. But neither one, I can't like advocate and say, I think that this is a thing you should carry for self-defense. I'm not saying that. Don't tell anybody I told you that. Don't. <laughs> well, Mike said it. Don't whip somebody at the mall and be like, I oh, smoke on hard to hurt, told me, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you know? Um, they still need more exploring. We're gonna do some videos soon on actual tactics on like how to use these. Cause I don't think anybody's doing that. People are doing videos on it. But uh, no one's doing videos on how to actually use these. So uh, let's do, you wanna do the outro? No, because I go for it. always fuck it up. No. Go ahead, try. Try. <laughs> for more concepts and principles. Nope. No. <laughs> try again. No, no. You can yeah. Until I get it right? Yep. Go. If you like videos... <laughs> Shit. Don't say keep on watching. No, I would never say that anyway, because I don't even say corny shit like that. Yeah. I know something about concepts, concepts and That's principles as right. well as... Uh, something that makes you hard to hurt. Yeah. For more gear reviews... What? If you want fitness tips... Gear reviews, as well as techniques. concepts and principles to make you hard to hurt. It's if you want more fitness tips, self-defense techniques, gear reviews, as, as well, well as, as concepts and principles that make you hard to hurt. Isn't that what I said?